Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this easy freestyle bubble braid for long hair. This look is great for beginners too as you don't need to add more hair into the braid while you're creating this. This is my hairstyle EXO. In this channel I will show you lots of different braids and hairstyles. Hopefully you will like it. Beginning by taking the section of hair for the freestyle braid. If you want to create this hairstyle without adding hair at all into the braids, take a bigger section of hair. Separate the hair piece in two sections and start to bring hair from side over and add a small piece to the another side. Take a small piece of hair from the left side and bring it over to the right side. Then take the small piece from right, bring it over, add some hair, and add this section to the left side. Take a small piece from left, bring it over, add hair, and add this section to the right side. As I said before, you don't need to add hair to this braid, just take a more bigger section of hair before starting. After a few addings, when I have enough hair to create a full and nice looking braid, I stop adding hair. Then just take a small piece from side and bring it over and add to the another side. Keep on repeating this pattern until the braid reaches on the back of the head. If you want some more volume for this hairstyle, pancake the edges of the braid. Just simply pinch the stitch and pull the edge of the stitch out gently. Then continue braiding like before. Next, repeat the same to the another side. Take again the section of hair and separate the section in two equal pieces. Take a small piece from the left side and bring it over to the right side. Then, small piece from right, bring it over to the left side. From left, over to the right, and from right, over to the left. Then, bring the small strand from the left over to the right and add hair. But if you prefer to create the braid without addings, please take a bigger section of hair before styling the braid and then you don't need to add more hair on this point of braiding. These added sections won't show up on backside on the final result. It's only up to you how you create the sides. Continue also this braid until the braid reaches on the back of the head. Pancake the edges of the braid if you prefer more voluminous braids. Next, I tie these two freestyle crunch braids together with an elastic. Next, I will create another freestyle braid. So take the hair from tie pack and separate it in two pieces. 
then start to print hair from side over to the middle and add the small section to the another side. Continue the pattern until the, all the hair strands has changed the side at least once. Then secure the braid with an elastic. I tie both sides individually so the pancaking will be easier. Next I will pancake the both sides of this braid to create a bubble effect. After that, I take some hair from the both sides and tie the strands of hair and the braid together with an elastic. Next, I will pull the hair a little bit out of the tie back. Next, repeat these steps. First, create a short fishtail braid. Take a side back in your hands, separate it in two, and start the braid. Take a small piece from side, bring it over, and add to the another side. When the braid is on the right length, secure the braid with an elastic. Then pancake the edges of the braid to create the bubble effect. Take some hair sections from the both sides of the braid and secure the strands and braid together with an elastic. Then pull the hair strands out of the tie back. Next, time to create another fishtail braid to the tie back. Continue the braiding fishtail braid until you cross it every hair strand over to the other side at least once. Then tie the braid with an elastic. Pancake the edges by pinching the stitch and pulling it out from the braid. Next, take the rest of the hair and tie all hair together with an elastic. Pull the hair out from the tie back. Next, I will create the last pistol braid of this style. Continue to spray until the hairstyle is on the desired length. Then tie the last braid with an elastic and pancake the edges of the fistel braid. And 
and here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video, hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again. Have a great day!